So there are different medicines to treat the PDA. The most important used previously was indomethacin and uh, ibuprofen started getting introduced in the mid 90s and then it became very prominent. So uh, both are equally effective uh, and they work as COX inhibitors and they close the PDA in about 60 to 70 percent with some recurrence rate as well. Uh, indomethacin used to have more renal toxicity and GA intolerance and ibuprofen was replacing it. The Cochrane review confirms the same that the efficacy is similar but the side effect profile is better for brufen. Oral ibuprofen has been shown to be equally effective as IV form with less side effects. It is less expensive as well. And uh, in the extreme premature babies, unfortunately, uh, both of these have a higher risk of renal failure and I've seen a few cases where acute renal failure, so once paracetamol came in the first week, especially with the fluid shifts and everything happening, we tend to use paracetamol more. Uh, the risk of spontaneous intestinal perforation increases as well if you're using these along with steroids. So paracetamol has been used for the past uh, 7 to 10 years as a treatment for the PDA and some studies were looking at it even before that. It works by directly inhibiting the activity of prostaglandin synthetase at the peroxidase region of the enzyme. There are multiple studies that show comparable efficacy to brufen, but early treatment seems important. There are some studies which don't show similar efficacy as well and especially the ones uh, which wait for the symptoms or the treatment is delayed. The side effect profile is overall better with less GI side effects and some groups suggest that the efficacy of paracetamol could be related to its effect on increasing pulmonary vascular resistance which itself reduces the impact of the PDA shunt. There has been some concern of impact on future neurodevelopment and this was mainly based on a review of maternal paracetamol treatment and its impact on infant development and this could be an indirect effect as the reason for which the mother uses a paracetamol could be a febrile infection and uh, as we know the systemic inflammatory response associated with fever and infection has a negative impact on the developing brain and this could affect the neurodevelopment so it's like a uh, association rather than causation and careful neurodevelopment in the long term is essential in any future and uh, present studies that look at the use and this is mainly to rule out this possibility though this is my opinion that most probably it's related to the underlying cause for which the paracetamol was used rather than paracetamol itself.